you so much for stopping by my channel. I am doing another manicure in the series of the magnetic polishes. I got inspired with this manicure. Um, my mom wore a jacket to church and I said, oh, that would be great for a manicure. So this is what it's inspired by that uh, jacket my mom wore to church. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing today. As you can see, I've done some stamping, but uh, this included with the magnetic polishes. So let me show you today what I'm using. Uh, for my base, of course, I'm using Rich, uh, the Rich Filler from Beauty Secrets. I don't have that here, but that's the item that I use for my base. The next item I've used is Everglaze and it's called Coastal Mist. I use that on my index and my ring finger and I apply two coats of that. I then used on my thumb, middle and pinky, I used Essie Magnetic Polish which is Snake It Up. I have used China Glaze Magnetics Sparks Will Fly. And the last magnetic polish I used is Sally Hansen's Magnetic and it's called Slate Spark. And of course I've used Wet n Wild Clear Top Coat. And then sesh feet to seal everything off. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Also, I almost forgot. A pretty plate, which is BL076, which is this plate here. And I am using this image right up here. And that will be for my index finger and my ring finger that image then for my other fingers I am using plate SE18 and it is this floral image right here so and I'm also using my of course my neo neodymium magnet also to pull everything together but I've already done my two coats of the Everglaze here, one coat of the Essie Snake It Up, and what I'm going to do next with the ring finger is I'm going to stamp with the magnetic polishes. The first uh, layer, I'm going to layer these, but the first layer I'm going to do is with Essie. Stamper. And there's the image and I'm going to do it diagonally I'm going to push that down now I'm going to leave that liquid tape on there and I'm using the plain liquid tape and I failed to show you that, but that's the plain liquid tape. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. And dry it off a bit. Now I'm going to put the China Glaze Sparks Will Fly. Make sure I cover that image. Okay. And I want to make sure I get anything else off of here that I don't need, which I'm doing off camera with my lint roller. And I'm going to slightly do this a little bit off. Ok, 
okay and I failed to do this on this finger and I forgot to include that that I did use fresh paint 11 and that is what I did on the base of these and I just happened to forget to do that on this one darn it but I'm gonna go with the flow I'm gonna go ahead and see how it works with this on top since I did forget to do it I'm just gonna do it lightly and I don't think it's gonna work like I want it to work but it might I'm gonna do it very lightly and see if that will still pull with my magnet so I'm gonna take my magnet and just apply it and let it sit there so I can get that effect like I do with the others so let me get my tweezers to go ahead and get this liquid tape up from around there so it'd be easier to clean up which I don't have much of a mess so next on the pinky finger I'm going to use those other two magnetic polishes and I'm going to do the side swiping. Again, I've already got the SC1 coat down. So I'm going to take that and side swipe. And then I'm going to just put just a little bit of the Sparks Will Fly on the brush and kind of dry brush that on just a tad. And then apply my magnet. Okay. I am going to apply a coat of the Wet n Wild on both of these nails. Then I'm going to seal it off with Sesh Feet. Once it dries a bit, then I'll come back and show you the stamping on the pinky. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and start with my stamping on my plate with the floral image with the Everglaze. There's the image. I'm going to take off that extra that I don't need. And I'm going to position this up high. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the magnetic polish from Sally Hansen, and I'm going to go on over top of that. And you're not going to be able to see that very well, but trust me, it's on here. You might be able to. And I'm going to go ahead and center that in the middle of it, or a little bit off center. Okay. And then I'm going to... Put another coat of Sesh Feet and then apply my magnet. And I want those little particles to pull through from that sheer. Sally Hansen polish and if you can see that I will include swatch swatch photos at the end so you can see up close but I thought this manicure turned out pretty well I really like it I had to cut that thumb down but <laughs> let me show you this thumb 
You might see a little bit better. But I think it turned out very well. You guys, again, let me know what you think. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this manicure. To my new subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by and subscribing. Don't, for click, don't forget to click on the notification bell. Again, you guys.